ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. As Anglia Ruskin's academic registrar, it is both my privilege and pleasure to welcome you all to Chelmsford Cathedral for this afternoon's Anglia Ruskin graduation ceremony. We've all gathered here today to celebrate the success of the class of 2019. Graduation ceremonies follow a tradition from the 15th century, and it is a tradition that has evolved since. Roughly translated, graduation means taking a step. And graduation symbolizes the move of the former student, now called a graduand, into a new role in society as a graduate, where they will use the skills and talents developed during their studies to contribute to the future advancement of society. Each graduate will cross the stage and shake hands with the vice chancellor to symbolize their transition to this new role. We will applaud them for their success so far, but also in anticipation of the contribution we expect them to make to society in the future. At the conclusion of our ceremony, the vice chancellor will formally admit all new graduates to the community of scholars and as new members of that community, as the academic procession leaves the stage, the new graduates will join the procession and that will bring our ceremony to a close. During proceedings, those graduating with higher research awards will have their hoods placed upon them by the vice chancellor to indicate that they have attained the very highest levels of academic achievement. Thank you. <laughs> so we've now got all the, all the uh, introductions are over. We can now start our formal proceedings. I hereby declare the ceremony to be in session, and I call upon the vice chancellor, Professor Roderick Watkins, to address you all. Vice chancellor. Distinguished guests, graduands, family and friends, colleagues. As Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, it's my very great pleasure to join you today at your graduation ceremony. And firstly, to all those graduating today, my congratulations on reaching this milestone and graduating from your chosen course. And today is a day of great celebration. It's an opportunity for each of you to reflect and celebrate and look back and take stock on your achievements, but also to look forward to the exciting careers that stretch out in front of you. And whatever career you enter, you are the future. You now have the opportunity and the responsibility to embrace and promote change to implement new ideas and new ways of working. The passion, energy, and commitment that led you to undertake your ARU degree and gave you the strength and resilience to succeed in it can now be applied to building your careers and realizing your aspirations. And whether your future lies in education or health, social care, law, business, science, technology or the arts, with your passion and your expertise, you really can now make a difference, helping society address the challenges that we all face. And we will have succeeded in our task if we have helped you to develop the skills, confidence, and the determination to influence and lead your professions to promote change and to achieve your ambitions. As well as serving our students, we at ARU are fully committed to serving our region and the communities in which we are based. Economic development, social inclusion, business support, tackling health inequalities. Each of these are fundamentally important elements of our mission, transforming lives through innovative, inclusive, and entrepreneurial education and research. And our reach extends well beyond the eastern region in which we are based. We are a genuinely global community of students and academics. We attract students from over 170 countries, and they flourish with us because they find a second home here. And our researchers, too, have worldwide reach and impact. 
our Vision and I Research Institute, for example, is leading life-changing research into the avoidance and management of diabetic retinopathy across South Asia. And colleagues in our Medical Technology Research Centre have recently won funding to develop accurate and affordable wearable technology to monitor the respiratory rates of newborn infants in refugee camps. So in our research, as in our education, we are having real, tangible effects on people's lives, and that's something of which we can all be proud. The last academic year at ARU has been a very successful one. We opened our new school of medicine right here in Chelmsford. We opened law clinics in Cambridge and Chelmsford. We became the UK's second largest provider of degree apprenticeships. We were named one of the top 150 universities in the world for health education. And we were chosen to host the 2020 British Science Festival, again here in Chelmsford next September. Our researchers have won grants from world-class funders, including the European Research Council, the Lieberholm Trust, the Medical Research Council, Alzheimer's Society, EPSRC, and awards including a Churchill Fellowship, an OBE, and a BAFTA nomination. And our students have won numerous prizes too, including the Victoria and Albert Illustration Award, the Royal Television Society Award, and the Chartered Management Institute's Apprentice of the Year. But above all, we define our success as a university by the positive impact we have on the lives of our students and the communities we serve. And for us to succeed, we will need your support as our newest alumni. Because the support we receive from our alumni and our friends really matters adding value to the education we provide our students and helping our researchers push boundaries. So please help us build links with your networks and your professions and spread the good word about your university. Before I close, I would like to pay special tribute to your families and friends who have provided you with their constant support and encouragement throughout your education. You and we owe them our sincere gratitude, so thank you very much. I would also like to acknowledge and thank my colleagues, the staff right across ARU, for their tireless commitment and professionalism and their profound contribution to all aspects of your courses. But above all, and once again, my warm congratulations to you all. I do hope you enjoy your day. I wish you well wherever your ARU degree takes you, and please do stay in touch. ARU is your university for life, and your success and our success are inextricably linked. Thank you. Vice-Chancellor, thank you. So now we come to our main business for this afternoon's ceremony, the presentation of those receiving awards. And I now call upon Deputy Dean of Faculty, Dr. Catherine Lee, to come to the podium to present to the Vice-Chancellor graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. Dr. Lee. Vice-Chancellor. It's my pleasure to present to you the graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. For the award of Diploma of Higher Education Paramedic Studies, Louise Jane Baines. <laughs> Stephen Baker. John Edwin Ball. <laughs> Sophie Louise Buckley. <laughs> Jack William Peter Carey. <laughs> Charlotte Dennis. 
Deirdre Catherine Devine. Benjamin Leonard Dorman. Bailey Oliver Douglas. Kevin Dowell. Jodie Lauren Ferguson. Paul Stephen Finn. David Fitton. Paul James Freakley. James Howard Ganser. Jack Edward Gillies. Catherine Gould. Simon John Harrison. Anne Marie Hemmings. Rachel Horn. Aaron Hill, sorry. Rachel Horn. James Howley. Emma Victoria Hines. Russell Kemp. Abigail Louise Jacqueline Kent. Anthony Patrick Kinsella. Francesca Cusel Baum. Michael Stephen Lewis. Michael Lycan. Sean Lillis. James Andrew Lloyd. Helen Lockwood. James Lovering. Holly Morley. Jordan Morris. Joshua Andrew James Moss. Gareth John Noakes. Scott O'Rourke. James Stephen Palmer. Lee, Lee Joe Philipson. Edward John Rawlinson. Ian Spencer Riddle. Darren Paul Rogers. Anna Nicole Rose. Samuel Oliver Ross. Daniel Rowland. Katie Hannah Saddington. Matthew Frederick Smith. Rebecca Smith. Jane Lee Summerfield. Natalie April Stanton. Mark Stevens. Sarah Ivy Rose Studd. Benjamin Turner Weir. 
Thomas Wallace. Simon Woods. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Paramedic Science, Omar Abdullah. Rachel Oldborough. Elliot Anser. Jacob Bailey. Lauren Bartle. Sophie Beswick. Amber Brooks. Rebecca Bullimore. Kajul Chohan. Kimberly Jane Collins. Patrick Crofton. Thomas Andrew Davis. Amanda Jane Day. Amy Catherine Eastwell. Hannah Evans. Darcy Eleanor Fletcher. Morgan Fawcett. Mariana Martins. Kerry Jamal. Alex Grant. Reese Hislop. Rachel Holden. Jordan Hoskins. Andrew Ross Jackson. George Johnston. Thomas Robert Kane. Georgina Keeble. James Kettlewell. Amanda Khan. Luke Kinanda. Emily Lester. And also receiving the John Spence Student Community Prize, Benjamin James Morris. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, that partially completes the list of graduates for me to present to you today. Dr. Lee, thank you. Each year, ARU makes a small number of Student Leader Awards, which recognise, celebrate and reward exceptional contributions to ARU and the wider community through extracurricular activity. Recipients of these awards have exhibited exemplary leadership skills and demonstrate that their work has benefited their fellow students and the wider community. Of the over 7,000 ARU graduates invited to our 2019 graduation ceremonies, only six have been selected for one of these esteemed awards. I now call upon Dr. Matt Webster to read the citation for the Student Leader Award for this afternoon's recipient, Benjamin Morris. Vice-Chancellor, it's my pleasure to read the citation for Benjamin Morris, winner of our Student Leader Award. At ARU, students are at the heart of everything that we do. Led by our Vice-Chancellor's team and senior PVC, we engage in our civic duty to make a real difference in our community and far wider. 
But to do this effectively, we need the support and guidance of the student voice. We achieve this voice through our student leaders who dedicate their time and energy to making positive change and working collaboratively with us. No concessions are made towards their study. We have the same expectation of assignments and deadlines. However, these individuals sacrifice their time to help us achieve our wider mission. Ben embodies this mission through his work in the community, through volunteering, promoting his discipline on a national stage, and working with the faculty partnership team to drive improvement for all of our students. Ben, we are very proud of you. Well done on being recognised as one of the Vice Chancellor's Student Leaders for 2019. Benjamin, congratulations and well done. We now continue with the presentation of those receiving awards today, and once again I call upon Dr Catherine Lee to return to the podium to continue to present to the Vice-Chancellor graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. Dr Lee. Vice-Chancellor, it's my pleasure to continue the presentation of graduates from the Faculty of Health, Education, Medicine and Social Care. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Paramedic Science, Louise Neal. <laughs> Isabel Nixon. <laughs> Taylor Jade Shannon Nolan. <laughs> Summer O'Brien. Daisy Page. <laughs> Isabella Brooke Parry. <laughs> Lisa Perrett. <laughs> Natalia Plywax. <laughs> Lucy Annabel Porter. Louise Quinn. <laughs> Fahima Rakib. <laughs> Jordan Rawlings. <laughs> Sean Rowland. <laughs> Thomas Rudd. Zoe Scott, <laughs> Chloe Smith, <laughs> Taylor Smith, <laughs> Gabriella Bogomila Sobcha, <laughs> Jennifer Stewart. Alice Sabiro. <laughs> William Taylor. <laughs> Asma Ulhaq. <laughs> Charles Waddle. <laughs> Paul Wapples. Daniel White. <laughs> Isabel Whitaker. <laughs> Lucy Wybrow. <laughs> Aisha Rose Wigzel. <laughs> Zoe Williams. <laughs> Alex Woodland. Georgina Wrigley. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Nutrition, Mark Stephen Connock.
Heather Rose Durham. <laughs> Sylvia Eleonora Kutowska. <laughs> Sophie Maidment. <laughs> Bryony Pierce. Jack Reed. Lucy Jane Windsor. Veronica Zakop Kanikova. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Pharmaceutical Science, Oname Anawu. Olga Ivanovo. Jack Bar Johnston. Nikita Lukowski. Rosemary Mutludag. David Nethersoul. Simba Ngandu. Rose Akaya Koi. <laughs> Rebecca Smith. <laughs> Melissa Wright. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science, Pharmaceutical Science, Krishna Patel. Jordan Mark Pavley. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present those who have been awarded higher research degrees. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis entitled Innovative Cuffless Blood Pressure Estimation Using Photoplethysmography Signal Only Development and Evaluation of Machine Learning Approaches, Saeed Gufran Khalid. Vice Chancellor, that completes the list of graduands for me to present to you today. Dr. Lee, thank you. I think that was certainly the loudest and liveliest uh, ceremony we've had this week, so very well done. Graduates, many congratulations on your achievements. There will have been a number of graduates, however, with whom you studied, who, for one reason or another, haven't been able to join us today. But will you please join me in acknowledging their success in their absence as well? We are now nearing the end of our ceremony, but first I should like to ask one of our wonderful new graduates, Heather Durham, to come to the podium to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of all of those receiving awards today. Heather. Hi, everyone. Make sure this is up here. <laughs> so, Vice Chancellor, our most valued guest, 
ladies and gentlemen, and of course, my fellow graduates. I am honored to offer the vote of thanks today from myself and on behalf of all the students graduating at this ceremony. Sharing gratitude is a skill that is important in all aspects of life. To begin, I would like to congratulate the graduating cat class of 2019 on their tremendous achievements. Yeah, I give them another round of applause. <laughs> Graduation is not only a day of celebration, but also a day to reflect on all of our triumphs. Also looking back on our struggles and to all the people who were there through it all. Throughout the university, there are many individuals who collectively contributed to our outstanding experience here at ARU. Firstly, we would like to thank the senior staff and lecturers for their integral role in guiding us, pushing us, and shaping us to be the academics and the people we have all become. Without their hard work, passion, and let's be honest, patience, we would not have reached this moment today. Your leadership has molded us to strive to contribute to society and to further develop the medical science field. We also would like to thank the wider Anglia Ruskin fa All right, take a breath. Ha. Huh. <laughs> we would also like to thank the wider Anglia Ruskin faculty that have made each and every one of our experiences here memorable. From the individuals who helped us become well-rounded students, building our CVs, supporting and shaping our clubs and societies, for employing us, for those of you who have made the campus a beautiful place to be by planting and maintaining the flowers, keeping the corridors clean, or just saying hello as you walk into the buildings. The individuals who provided us with comforting meals and the endless amounts of hot drinks, for the amazing facilities that gave us safe spaces to practice religion, having accessible fitness classes and gyms, and of course, a 24-hour library, which I have to admit came in very handy for all the all-nighters I had to take part in those last-minute details of my assignments. <laughs> we also have to thank each and every family member, near and far, who supported our decision to further our education here at ARU. Without your sacrifices, support, and love, our achievements would be unattainable. You all played an exceptional role to support our studies, most likely physically, financially, and or emotionally. My husband can attest, attest to the emotional support part. <laughs> so graduates, let us be grateful for the times we had together, thankful for the ones who helped us get there, and courageous in wherever our next chapter of life may be. I know I would not have been able to make it through these last couple years without the support of you. So take a moment to reflect on the people you met, most likely for, from different cities, different countries, different cultures, some maybe younger or older, mothers or fathers, changing their career or just starting out. It amazes me how a very random group of individuals can be brought together and grow together under these special circumstances. No one will ever truly know what we have gone through and what we have accomplished but one another. On that note, take the time to thank all those today who have truly made your experience here at ARU remarkable. As we all pursue our next adventures, remember to be courageous, be kind, and share your gratitude. Anything is possible when you have incredible people around to support you. As Albert Schweitzer once said, at times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has cause to think with deep gratitude and those who have lighted the flame within us. So thank you very much. Congratulations, everyone. Heather, thank you, and well done. Now, this afternoon's ceremony uh, is our last ceremony in Chelmsford this year, marking the halfway point of our 2019 celebrations for graduation. I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of Anglia Ruskin University to say thank you to Chelmsford Cathedral for the splendid venue they've allowed us to use and for their staff for their assistance, cooperation and hospitality. Will you please join me in thanking them? <laughs> and also, and I'm not sure you can see them, they're seated behind us, but they've entertained us both before and after the ceremony and provided our processional music Will you join me in acknowledging and thanking our five wonderful musicians? I 
I now call for one final time on the Vice-Chancellor to address the new graduates. Vice-Chancellor. And now, please, will all those who have been presented to me here on the stage today, will you please stand? As Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, I hereby admit you to the degrees, diplomas and awards for which you have been presented to me today. As a member now of the community of scholars, take all that you have learned into society and uphold the values of freedom of thought and scholarship. Our warmest congratulations to you all. And that brings us to the end of the ceremony, and I hereby declare proceedings closed. Can I now ask everyone to stand for the academic procession? Uh.